Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. I hope you guys had an awesome holidays and an awesome new year. And I hope that your 2019 is amazing. We're gonna look at a few items that just led us into the new year. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Megan Longoria has got a blog post where she's talking about tab order inside of Power BI. She calls out that this is incredibly important when we start thinking about accessibility of reports, specifically in this case, the keyboard. And so if you're having to use a keyboard to go through items, so this would come up, say if you're using like a screen reader of some kind and you can't use your mouse to get around, tab order can be incredibly accessible in terms of going from visual to visual to visual. And you can define that inside of Power BI with the latest release of Power BI Desktop. Megan walks through how you can actually define that tab order of your visuals in your report and make it so it's easier to use for those using the keyboard. If this is something that you or your organization is interested in and or cares about, then check out this blog post for all the details from Megan. Great stuff. Marco Russo's got a blog post covering all of the DAX items that were released inside of 2018. And so this is a way that you can go in and take a look at what came in the last year from a DAX perspective. Maybe get caught up on those items that you just didn't have a chance to look into. The beginning of January is a great way to do that because things are slowly getting back into the normal. So maybe you have a little extra time to check that out. There are other items in this blog post as well. So just great stuff just to catch up over what happened from a DAX perspective. Check it out down in the description below, along with all the other items in this roundup, including some bonus items. Check it out. Continuing the new year trend, the Power BI desktop team released a blog post and a video just talking about the five favorite features that the actual Power BI desktop team loved in 2018. One of the things I love about the video that's included in this blog post is that a different PM introduces each of those features. And so take a look, see if your favorite items compare with the favorite items from the Power BI desktop team. Maybe let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite item for 2018 inside of Power BI desktop? There was a blog post that included the update summary for the Power BI service and the Power BI mobile app for both November and December. There were a bunch of items that were included in this. Some of the big items that you may be very familiar with or have at least heard about are Power BI data flows and paginator reports coming to Power BI. So that's included in this update as well. There were also some other updates, including updates to the Premium Capacity Metrics app, which if you're using Power BI Premium, you should absolutely be taking a look at that app to understand what's happening inside of Power BI Premium. Also some updates to the home screen and the release notes and more. So check out the blog post to see what all happened inside of November and December, and let's get ready for more great stuff in the Power BI service and the Power BI mobile app. There was an update to powerbi.com, which includes a high level overview of the roadmap for Power BI. I know I get hit up a lot with questions about, hey, when's this coming, when's that coming? And so if you're curious, be sure to check this out. Again, it's a high level look at some of the items that Power BI is gonna be looking at over the next year. This has also been done for both Dynamics and the Power Platform as a whole. So Flow, Power Apps, Power BI, all of those items. These items also link out to the release notes. So the release notes is where you can get a little more information about what's actually happening from a roadmap perspective. It is definitely the roadmap item if you're curious about futures. So spread the word, let everyone know there are roadmap items that are publicly available for Power BI. Links as always down in the description below. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item as we went into 2019? Let me know down in the comments below as it's something I covered? Was it something I didn't cover that maybe you know about and want to share out with everyone else? Let me know. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.